Hey cute people, how y'all doing today? Listen, you know I'm going to try to make this real quick because I got to get outside. It's Saturday and it appears to be a pretty nice decent day. But it is late in the afternoon, early evening, so I don't know how far I'm going. But I just wanted to um, talk a little bit about my protein overload sensitivity damage for sure. I um, did a video previous to this one so check that one out share your thoughts your suggestions reflections all that is always welcome but um i explained to you what i did and what i went through tomorrow will be a whole week so i just want to show you what i've done so far as you can see my hair is twisted and curled with the perm rods and believe it or not i haven't taken them out the only time i've taken them out is to take it out moisturize seal do all that to my hair and then put the um twist and the rods right back in thinking i was gonna wear my hair out the next day so it's been a whole week but i did wear my hair out monday and this is what i did on um, monday night i used my curie do which i have to show that to you guys because i love that thing and i used the um indian hemp let's see if you can see the whole thing this is um a deluxe sample that came from either curl box or curl kit. I sealed my hair with some jojoba oil. And you know this is the mass produced one because it has other stuff in here. Mm -hmm. And I also put some orange essential oil in here so this stuff smells really, really good. And I sealed my hair with that. Now the next day, which was Wednesday, you know I was checking. I was hair checking. And my hair felt better. But it wasn't back to what I would call normal hair for me anyway so huh the next day i didn't do anything to it because it still felt okay but not bad but i figured every day this week i was going to hit it with some moisture so what i did um last night the night before i sprayed some water in my hair trying something different i used this product here so i don't know if you can see it but it's the shea radiance moisture rich hair butter it's all natural shea butter for kinky hair. See right here? I want you all to see that kinky hair. Kinky hair is what I got. So I put that in my hair. My hair was, oh, it felt so much better. So much better. Now, tomorrow is Sunday, my wash day. So I'm hoping that I'm going to do something that my hair is going to love so I can get rid of that protein buildup feeling that I don't like. On the last video, someone had asked me about um, uh, egg and a mayo protein treatment once a month. And I think that's good. But my whole thing, what I've learned, if your hair doesn't need the protein, I figured, I could be wrong because I'm not a scientist. This is just my own thought. Then why do a protein treatment? If your hair is definitely relaxed or color treated, I say go ahead because you know how that works. Watch the uh, video I just did and I'll explain a little bit about that in there. Why protein treatments would be good for those people. But um, if your hair is natural, you pretty much, if you have a well-balanced hair, a well-balanced hair, if you have well-balanced hair, then your protein and moisture balance should be pretty cool. Mine was cool, but I thought that I needed protein because I know it's something that's out on the market. People use it. It's supposed to be good for your hair, yada, 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 but it wasn't for me, and I made a mistake by using it, and it wasn't the right thing for me. So I think that if I feel for protein treatments, this is my opinion. If yours differ, okay. But, to the young lady who asked me the question, how you doing? I say, use protein when your hair needs protein. It, to me, if your hair doesn't need it, then don't do it. Because your hair could um, build up with protein, that treatment, um, become dry and then become brittle. If you live in a cold climate, you definitely don't want that. Because then your hair will be drier and more brittle, brittle, er. <laughs> than it was before lord i ain't got no sense but um you know what i'm saying so to me that's what i figured then someone had mentioned to me in the same video that they once a month use a protein treatment and then right away hit it with a conditioning treatment now i don't know if that's something i want to do because i don't want to put a protein and then turn around and do a conditioning um 
treatment. Everybody's hair I know is totally different. And I love to hear more of your responses or um, how you incorporate protein and what you do into your routine. But for me, honestly, if I don't need protein, I'm not giving my hair any more protein because a lot of products that we use already have it. So I'm not going to do it. But I um, use this with just water. Mm -hmm. Just water. And my hair felt great. So I'm going to take these out. I should have been taking them out while I was talking to you guys. Now right now, my hair feels okay. I won't say that it feels its absolute best. But it does feel a lot better than it did. And I'm hoping when I wash my hair tomorrow, my wash day, that my hair will not break a lot I may experience some breakage and you know I'll let you guys know I'm just hoping that it won't be an awful lot of breakage because if it breaks anymore I'm gonna have to trim it again which is okay because like I said having long hair means nothing to me if my hair is not full and that's what I want full hair Nice, thick hair. It could be nice and thick and short, but it cannot be long and scraggly. Okay, so I'm going to take this one out. Maybe I should put some oil on it. What I'm going to put on it is um, onions, burnt sugar, pomade. Just a little bit. As a matter of fact, I'm cleaning up the jaw. Look at that. Ooh. But, I got one of these. I think this came in a curl kit. So, I'm just going to use a little bit. Because I love how this stuff smells. I could imagine how the other fragrance must smell. So, just rub a little bit in my hand. And then, pull it through my hair a little bit. And just proceed to take it out and see... Now, right now, to be honest, when I took my hair out last night, because, you know, again, I was doing a hair check, some of the um, twists felt much better than others. I noticed it feels, my hair feels a little, it doesn't feel as thick as it should because, remember, I had a lot of breakage. But it doesn't feel hard and rough. I wish, to be honest, that I had done this every night. You know, the um, QE do, I should say, really. Even if I did change products. say I have on a light pink shirt I don't know if you can tell much but I don't see a lot of breakage on the shirt in the rods I did have some breakage it wasn't shed here it was breakage because breakage would sometimes be like little short pieces nothing um too much to alarm me I hope my hair is shaped right because I shape it and it looks right in the mirror then when I get in the camera and look at it later on my hair is always lopsided but this is what it looks like so I'm not complaining because I have the um I had the per the rods in my hair. I think that's what makes it look fuller. But I'm pretty much happy with it. I'm gonna let you guys know um what my results are tomorrow because I'm gonna find every moisturizing thing in my um stash to put in my hair tomorrow shampoo conditioner leave-in oil this that everything because my hair is going to need it because in this west day it might be more it, of course it's going to be frail you know just tightly coiled hair i have but like i said i don't have a lot of um breakage so far and this is my results and i'm pretty much happy with it 
So I just wanted to share with you guys what I'm trying to do to combat that little problem I have. And again, if you have um, some suggestions or things that you do, even though I may not agree with them or do them, leave them below because they can always help somebody else. We all are going through this hair struggle together. And learning is part of the journey. So I'm going to end this video now because I want to run out somewhere to do something for me and somebody. I don't know. But anyway, um, I don't know why I even said all that. Because I'm thinking about the other things while I'm talking to you but um yeah so that's all I want to say I'm going to end the video now I want to thank you all so much for stopping by and watching this video I really really do greatly appreciate it if you haven't subscribed to me subscribe to me and all my silliness I mean you know I'm an old lady but I try to keep it light have fun and um I'm only as young as I feel, and I feel like I'm about 25. So subscribe to my channel, yo. That I could have left out, I know. But you know, all I want you guys to do is just share and spread love. 